Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Connor, and today we are back in the wonderful world of Cobblemon. If you guys don't know what Cobblemon is, they've basically taken Pokemon and added it to Minecraft and added everything that you need in order to survive, but also capture amazing Pokemon and made it completely free as long as you have Minecraft Java downloaded. If you guys are interested, their server IP is play.pocketpixels.net. You can also check out the links down in the description below and join, and there's a lot of instructions on how to join, including a step-by-step tutorial in the last episode we captured gyarados and we, we got like a dope gyarados we got some dope pokemon kind of got everything that we needed um in order to have kind of like a full inventory seeing a lot of like bubbles coming out right here what is this about is there something in the water that i can capture let's see this is new i've never noticed this unless it's like been a thing and i'm just tripping but let's see if i can capture anything okay uh we just got a, we just got a fish but it seems like there's something unless it's just like a graphic in the water i don't know Let's see if there's something underneath here. Is there something down here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So what we're going to be doing this episode, first thing I want to do is I want to check out some people's houses. Okay. So every episode, you know, we check out people's homes, kind of see what kind of upgrades they've been doing and kind of see who's joined the community. This is, like I said, it's absolutely completely free. So you guys are able to join. I'll even show my coordinates. It's right there in the top left. X, Y, Z, negative 73, 63, and negative 10, 18. You guys should hop on in here and join our little village in our community here and help us grow to be one of the biggest villages in the server because that's kind of what I'm going for here. I want to make sure the IGL community is well established in the Cobblemon community. All right, so it looks like Alex's claim is kind of just the same. I don't know if he's done much. Oh, he's got he's got food and a farm down here. I'm going to go in here, Alex. I hope you don't mind. I just want to see. Oh, look at this. This is a dope little like underwater farm. I like that. That's really cool. That's dope. Good job, man. That's a really cool build. I like that a lot. And then I don't even know where this goes to. Oh, oh, this is mine. OK, cool. All right. Dope. Good job, man. Love it. Love to see it, my dude. A uh, mine shaft. OK, yeah. So I mean, he's got everything listed. I just decided that I just wanted to go in there and explore. So this is a new home. Actually, there's a couple new homes here. Uh, this is OMGR Smiley's house. I'm not the best at building. Hey, it looks great, though. I love. Oh, I love that 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 furnace you got there with like the chimney look. That's pretty dope. That's a dope little look. And you got some, I believe you did this to probably just be able to build over there, I assume. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was a dope little, what? Doug Trio, what are you doing over here on this wood, my dude? This isn't ground. You can't just, uh, you know, what? I'm not even going to question it anymore. Doug Trio, though, it's not, I mean, it's not a great Pokemon to get, but it's interesting. This is a new home also. Uh, looks like we have an, uh, an immortal Hades home. Uh, why is there a Ghastly out here? Ghastlies are usually only in the nether. That's super duper weird. Maybe there's a weird event going on or something. Uh, but what what am I able to see inside of this house? I can kind of see from a distance. But Hades, I like your home. It looks really good. I like the design on the outside. I can see you have your mine shaft right here. That's perfect. I love I love the the diorite look. I'm not usually a fan of diorite, but that looks fantastic. Um, and then we have uh, I don't. This is Death by Donuts house. Okay, just a basic simple house. Love it with a little bit of an upstairs. Okay. And then this is new. This is Zillatron's claim. Uh, Zillatron, if you're watching, I'm curious to see. Oh, you. Oh, it's like a Pokeball. That's really really creative. I like that. I would say do red like a red. Uh, die instead but i think you're on a really good track here uh and then we have zillatron's claim okay jesus i did not there's a yen mega over here i did not know that okay uh and they've got a really really good farm going uh and what do we got here okay i hope you don't mind zillatron that i'm coming in here i'm just coming in here to look okay i'm not here to open up your stuff but as i just tried to open it up doesn't make any sense. and a sugar cane farm downstairs dude rushing it my guy you got some pretty good builds love to see oh and a nice upstairs dude Oh, and an auto smelter? Brother, you are just killing it. I love to see the progress. I love it. I love it so, so much. All right, I got to eat my cod. I'm hungry. Need some food. All right, and then he's got one more level up here to looks like a tree home and enchantment room. This guy has been rushing it. This guy's got more progress than me on here. That's insane. With that being said, that is today's objective. Today's objective is to get a little bit more established in the game, right? I feel like I've, I've been running around getting a lot of Pokemon and stuff, but wait, what was that? Is that a, is that a, not a Psyduck, uh, what's it called? Um, a Gold Duck. That's right. Jeez, that's, and you, you can see him swimming. He's not just like floating around. He's like actually swimming. That's so sick. This server is so rad. Again, if you guys are interested, all the information is down in the description below, but it's play.pocketpixels.net. Better yet, join the Discord and kind of get within the community. And, and if you have any questions and stuff, people will kind of help you out and everything. But 
Um, yeah, I want to get a little bit more established today uh, with like I want to make like my farm and everything on top of the house I kind of need to get like my farm. I, mean, I was either gonna make my farm on top of the house or make a hidden farm underneath um, Which I might just do that honestly like that might be the move. So with that being said, I think we need to go to the hub So let's head on out to the hub. Okay I like coming to the hub because I like to see what's going on with the deals and everything with the server um, as you can see, they're doing a 20% off spring sale, so you can go to their shop, shop.pocketpixels.net. That's where you can get crates and stuff. They also have different versions of uh, Pixelmon, so they have Quantum, Red, Yellow. I'm playing on the Cobblemon server. It's a brand new server. It's fresh. Love for you to come join and come hang out with us and make a community with me. And I went ahead and warped over here to the crate area. Uh, there's a vote crate, so you can vote every day and get some crates. There's also alpha supporter and a random crate. So all these keys and everything are available with the link down in the description below that shop. Uh, and you can go check it out and stuff. But what I'm here to do, one, I need to heal my Pokemon and kind of make sure we are good to go and make sure that we're all healed up. Because I, in the last episode, we kind of battled a lot of people. But here's the cell shop, okay? Because if, if we go to shop for slash shop in our chat, um, we can kind of see where we're at in terms of like money. So we have $575. I'm not sure if that's like a good amount or a bad amount, but this is where you're able to buy like seeds and everything that you need in order to, to build the home that you want to. So I am going to need to buy seeds. I'm going to want to buy wheat seeds. I'm going to buy 64 wheat seeds. How much does that put me at? That, that took $160 for my inventory. Okay, that's fine. Um, on top, of, I do need to get like diamond armor and stuff because there is a PVE area where um, you can like fight mobs and stuff to get different items and everything. I already have food. Food's easy to get for me. Nature, this is like plants and stuff. Okay. And ores. Oh, you can just straight up buy ores here. Interesting. Okay. You can also sell stuff. So let's say you have 64 pieces of wheat. You'll get $16 for it. Okay. And you can sell that bad boy with that right there. It'll pop up in the bottom left. Right now, for me, it says you don't have any items, but when you sell stuff, you can do that. And there's also like a diamond block. So if you just have like straight up just like a diamond block that you want to get, you can sell it for uh, eight of them for $1,080. So there's quite a few ways to get money. I mean, if you want to be generic and everything also, you can also just like straight up just sell cobblestone. A stack of 64 goes for $12. So there's a lot of different ways to make money, um, including, you know, if you want to go farm some, some monsters and stuff, you can go do that also. And if you're fishing, what's up, Geo dude? What's up, bro? Um, there's a lot of different ways to make money and you get a salary uh, when you're just running around and, and playing the game and everything. But I always love to come check out the shops, kind of see what's going down, see if there's anybody over here. Um, I do have a daily gift, so I'm going to check my menu. Daily rewards. This is a little bell right here. And what did I get for my daily reward? Let's see. Uh, I got a what did I get? It didn't it didn't say what I got, but what did I get? I think I got some sort of Pokeball. I'm, oh, I got another Premier Ball. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's head on home. I have my seeds. I think I'm just going to get dirt and stuff when we're there. I might need some iron to get a bucket. Let's see. I think I, I thought I had. I have iron. Do I have a bucket, though? I don't think I have a bucket anywhere. I've never made one. Okay, well, that's, that's good to know. So now I can make a bucket. Because we have to start making our farm underground. We're going to make an underground hidden farm. No one's ever going to know about it. Besides if you're watching this video, now that I think about it, but whatever, doesn't make sense or it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, where do I want to put this farm? Um, put my Pokeballs up here. I What I need to make is a chest next to that right there. Um, and that will kind of indicate like, oh, that's all my Pokemon stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, I need more wood, jeez. I need to plant more trees. Whoa, has that sugar cane always been there? What is this, a wiggly tough? All right, let's go get some. We, we need wood anyways, uh, so let's go find some. Break down this tree. Someone broke down this tree, but didn't break it down all the way. Is it me? It, it might have been me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I keep getting my skills, too. I need to keep leveling up my skills and everything. Get some more wood here. Because you can actually get skills and upgrade your skills uh, by playing the game and doing four slash skills. And you can up up uh, get, like, new abilities and upgrade your mining and, your, and everything like that. It's really, really cool. All right, did any saplings fall? I've got one sapling so far. I'm gonna place that back there. I could just buy some eventually. I would like one, but maybe there's one over here on this one. No saplings. Oh, it just removed entities right now too, so that makes sense. See if I can get a sapling to fall. I feel like they updated the server recently. Cause there's more like, like random like graphics and stuff that are happening that I've never seen before. Which is really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna pop a tree right there. Um, let's go down here. 
love your content. Hope you're doing well. Heart, 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 heart. Thank you, Smiley. Appreciate it. All right, we got a lot of wood, um, and I have my axe. So now we just need to make a way down, or a way, not a way down, but have a farm somewhere. Let's do this. Let's move this guy and this guy. Let's move these guys. I'll put those right there. That'll be kind of our workstation. And then we'll kind of, I think we'll probably just dig down like everybody else does um, and build like a ladder area. I did not realize this is going to be sand down here. I forgot I'm on a beach. There we go. There's cobble. Okay. Just going to need to kind of get through that like first area. Um, is that enough room for like things to grow? Let's go down one more. It's a little dark down here too. I got to be able to see. Let's go down one more. I, I just want to make sure that we, we have enough room to grow things, but we're going to go ahead and blow all this out. I'm going to do this. I'll probably make it just like one big area. So if I want to do, so that's one, two, one, two, one, two. Perfect. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's grab some water. We'll put some water there. We'll grab some water here and we'll put some water there. And then so what I need to do is take all this out actually and turn all this into dirt. I go boom, 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 boom. Damn. Nope, not that one. That one. Now I need more water to fill in that hole because of whatever. Okay, there we go. And so now that that's empty, I need to do this. I need to empty this out. I need to replace all of this with dirt. Let's get these potatoes down. Let's get some more torches around the, the place too. Make sure that we're, we have adequate lighting for everything that we want to grow. Should be good enough lighting for everything. I'm gonna hit the corners and stuff though of everything. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Oh yeah, see like my melon's already grown there. Nice. Okay. And then these will be more melons once or more melon seeds once that goes. Um, this should be good for my potatoes. Let's grab my potatoes. We'll grab my hoe and then we'll put this bad boy down. Put all these big guys in here and oh, I'm one potato short. That's okay. That's fine. These will grow up pretty quickly. Then we'll have a full setup. But I think that I think for a farm for like what we want to do in terms of like getting money and everything. I think we're at a pretty solid base for having the, the hidden farm that we want to. I just didn't want to have the farm above ground because like you literally never know what's going to happen. Um, for all I know, like a claim on my, I, I, I can mess up a claim and then all of a sudden like my farm's just like open for people to annihilate. But I really like this guy's claim. Uh, Hades' farm is really nice. I like, I like the simplicity of it. Just has like a couple of what he needs. Um, how, what I would love to see, though, is somebody build a super farm on here. Um, so if you're interested in doing something like that, let me know. I would love to see a super farm and show it off to the video. That'd be a fantastic time uh, for me to do for you. What is this house? Holy crap. This guy's house is kind of insane. Babo, Babu Luna. I love the slate. I love. Oh my gosh, look at his farm. Dude, I'm a farming boy, so it makes me it makes me happy to see some other people's farms. And then who is this over here? I don't know if these people are in the community or not. If you're a part of the community, by the way, um, do me a favor and just put like IGL, like a sign that says IGL, like as like a clan tag almost for your house. That way we can know who's who. Is that a shipwreck down here? That's kind of lucky. I have your house right there. That's for sure. Again, if you guys are interested in joining the server, all the information is down in the description below, including the server IP, step-by-step -step instructions, and a link to their shop. So if you want to get crates or keys, you can also check out their Discord, discord.gg forward slash pocket pixels and join the community there. There's a lot of amazing people and a lot of really, really cool interactions going on with not only community members, but staff members. They're there to help you, and they're really, really cool. Videos are popping up on screen right now. Make sure you guys click one, watch it, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.